water automatically yeah. filters. Yeah. I can't hold it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh god, is she gonna drown? Yeah. Please help. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are you making fun of me in my guild? <laughs> Splash. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what the fuck, Raylan? <laughs> she's like, she's like when you wet a cat. <laughs> she hides. <laughs> Come here! Come here, Sarah. Splash with us! <clears throat> I'm good at the edge of water, thank you. I don't like when it goes over my head. <gasps> what do you mean? Had my fair share of near drowning experiences in this very lake. I'd rather not have <laughs> My body does not like being partially in the water. Did you fall in? Are you okay? It is two feet deep. Are you going to drown? For fuck's sake. Oh God. Fucking pull him up. Come on. Let's get you. Stupid idiot. I stubbed my toe and it hurt and I screamed underwater and then I swallowed a bunch of water. You two are a fuck is, you. I could not help you. I'll cough you. into your mouth. There's nothing I can do. Uh, no, wait, you'll inflate me like the bladder. Into your mouth. Don't do that. Wait, yeah. that's fucking disgusting. BRB, I'm going to. Uh, what the fuck is a BRB? What's a BRB? What's a BRB? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know what a BRB is. <coughs> Stare at her and make it super awkward while she goes AFK. <laughs> she went by the like, fuck. Oh, this just got romantic, didn't it, Kyla? <laughs> you wanna maybe hold hands and fucking interlock our legs together as we stare out into the lake I almost drowned in? No. <laughs> She's teaching me how to breathe underwater. I don't think that's possible for you. No, she said. All I have to do is not panic. That's holding your breath. Not breathing. <gasps> you don't breathe underwater. <gasps> is that really all you took out of that conversation? <sighs> hey! You're BR being! Fuck off! Fuck you! Right, that's. Oh, for fuck's sake. Punch her in her butt cheeks. moment <sighs> no it's fine a romance between us maybe once upon a time right. <laughs> my bed like sometimes like he snitches shit. me on the forehead when i'm choking to death on my own vomit sometimes, sometimes you fool around in bonds <coughs> mm. sometimes i grab him by the ear and force his face down in the dirt because i'm so pissed at him for being who he is 
I feel like this is not a very healthy relationship. Oh, it's toxic as fuck. <clears throat> In the end, he's my friend. Did you just get friend zoned? I fuck my friend. It's fine. It's whatever. Fair <laughs> I don't even care. You wouldn't want to be with a mess like me anyway. Yeah, true. <clears throat> so are you fucking my dad or what? I don't think you're supposed to agree. I am. No, it is the truth. I am I'm not one I am for not... monogamy. Yeah, what's the what's what's going on there? I am. I am not uh, fucking your dad. Get it over ever. with. He's gonna die in like forty fucking years anyway. You might as well. <laughs> no offense to you, pilot. <laughs> I'm being honest. He is. If you're going to fuck him, do it. God, you got like fucking a modicum of time. I uh, am a threaten. I don't. <laughs> Who we cares? Don't. That's even more reason to do it. <clears throat> Who's gonna know? I'll know. People. I'll know. Fair people. I'll tell everyone. <sighs> oh, fucking no. Oh, no. Not the word the, of a uh... drow boy. <clears throat> Arn and I are, uh... We are friends, and we enjoy each other's company, and speaking of, um... Past experiences. <sighs> You're sharing tales? <clears throat> yes, actually. <laughs> Fuck! In a way, that's how you could put it. Can you imagine? Why? <sighs> what the fuck, Sarah? Why? It's not canon. Shut okay, up. She's never trying to tell us about a tragic Sorry, moment. tell me about what happened in the past. I, I didn't even realize we were you talking about that. Drowns. I, I you said there were past experiences. I was just. We were just talking. Someone? Well, I mean, just past Father, experiences maybe. in general, like just our lives in. Such. Yeah, we have similar experiences in some things, so it is. Enjoy relationships to talk about. are fucking stupid. Anyway, you don't need to label anything. <clears throat> Getting married is the stupidest Idiot. thing I've heard. <clears throat> Fuck. I fucked it. You're and right. Up and uh, I broke my VR. I will be right back. <laughs> it's actually <Okay. clears throat> fucking broken. Oh, oh no. shit. I miss That's Raylan. It. I miss when Raylan used to be here before she died in the accident. We don't talk about that, Sarah. Wake up, Kyla. She's gone. <coughs> I want to lay with you. I was about to get up. But we can lay a little longer, I guess. Squish. What are you squishing? You. Do you feel my one meal a day? In my tummy. <coughs> I feel something. Uh, yeah. I, well, I was waiting for a good time to tell you this, Sarah, but, uh... <clears throat> I've got a boner. Oh, no. I was going to say I'm pregnant. Is it mine? God, I hope not. Fuck you, I have the hottest jeans in this whole group. You don't even wear jeans, you fucking idiot. <laughs> what are jeans, you fucking idiot? <laughs> what, exactly! <coughs> Fuck you. Jeans are in ah! G-E-N-E-S, <laughs> if I knew... <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. Oh, look how cute he is. Look at the baby. The baby. The baby. <sighs> ah, delicious. Nutritious. <sighs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> 
Yes, hilarious, Sarah. Anyway. <clears throat> What the fuck are you doing? What are you reaching I'm for? Picking now? you up under your fucking arms. That's how you pick up a child. Under the arms, like that. Baba. Da da. I know exactly what you're referencing to, and I hate it. I know. Ah! <laughs> Okay, let's uh, head back. Yeah. <clears throat> Raylan will catch up. Raylan's dead, Sarah. Raylan's dead. Drow streaker. There we go. <clears throat> Fuck you. Okay. Where? Go on then. When? You toggle your... Oh, it's just raining. <laughs> Goblins. It's As we're fucking goblins. around. <clears throat> Where have you been? Hmm? We thought you were dead. Sarah and I have been worried sick. You're also muted. <clears throat> Get muted. Stupid fish. <laughs> Stop standing oh, in a menu. Today, fish lady. Today, Raylan. Have you uh, prepped for the shin? Uh, mm. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Good. <clears throat> okay, Unfortunately. Good. Everything is good. Okay, perfect. Unfortunately, that's rather rude. <laughs> cute drab boy. What? Did you just say cute drab bitch? Stay on your own turf. You go for one <clears throat> and Edhart. I'll go for the other one. You don't even know my hey, last hey, name. Hey, 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 I would- I know. <laughs> Did you not know what I was- Okay, it- so it isn't working. Hold on, just a second. That was not I was trying- I was trying to speak my own my own language. T uh, you gotta be louder. Fuck you, drab boy. What? Yeah, it works. Hello? There we go. <laughs> Mom, Dad? Uh, okay. <clears throat> are you back? Uh, yes, we are good. Sorry about that. Everything just is <clears throat> completely other shit. So good. Cards up. We're good. Anyways. <sighs> well, Raylan, as long as you are happy. Oh. But if you hurt my dad, I'll fucking... Ooh. <laughs> Did not the noise my neck arm. was made. How's that your neck? <clears throat> Good. You had it. it was <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, Raylan. Don't fucking hurt on. <laughs> or whatever the fuck you were saying. <laughs> I do not plan to. Good. I do if he tries to fuck anything up today or tomorrow. I don't want to. I prefer Tomorrow not to. is going to be interesting. That you two are in charge of making sure he doesn't fuck up. It'll be easy enough. Give him something to worry about so he's not worried about Mirandor. I'll uh, just take an arrow to the chest then. Quick DM pause over here. Cerebit, your chains are going to begin burning white hot. <coughs> Damn it. Whispers, and, and you are being dragged off forcibly by them to the scribery. Well, toodles. <laughs> Unpause. Sarah, bit? are you okay? Sarah? Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> fuck, Kyla. What the fuck? I'll be her? back. Sarah. Hey, Ted, don't, don't touch me. What? Sarah. Uh. Sarah's really being pulled. This is gonna go forward. <clears throat> I'm fucking going. Uh. Oh, Sarah. Uh, hang on, Raylan. I think I know what this is. She has a thing. What do you mean, leave you alone? You are in pain. <laughs> Be dragged. I... <coughs> Sarah, what is going on? 
será? <laughs> what the fuck? This is going. Uh, Sarah, what is going on here? Uh, Raylan, Raylan, I Ray suggest Raylan. you don't enter there. Do not fuck. Oh, I'm not going in there. Mm -mm. What's in there? It has been. I am sorry. Why, hello there, young man. Good evening. It seems everyone is quite keen to talk to Mirren today, aren't they? Suppose so. <clears throat> is she okay, Raylan? I don't know what the fuck happened. Mm, I had a suspicion, but I don't think it's right now. Oh. She was being dragged like by her fucking arms. Strange. What could possibly have dragged her up the stairs around the balcony? You sure she wasn't just kind of the fucking the around the like she does? In a straight path. Oh. Raylan? <clears throat> Have any idea of what this could be? Those chains. What about them? She's a slave to one. To Mirandel, yeah, I suppose. in charge of Miranda, hmm? <clears throat> You tell me. There was a royal guard. You really... Are you acting stupid, or do you really not? This Fulgrith character, I've heard stories about tales, all sorts of... Okay, well, it's the kind of thing that you don't just kind of talk about openly, you know? To people who you don't Worth know if they brain, know about. Fuck you. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. I don't know if you knew about this person or not. I'd assume you would. Well, knowing <clears throat> who you spend your time with. That is why I mentioned it. That doesn't explain why the fuck? any of that. Whatever the fuck that was. She was being dragged. She was holding onto the door frame. Being dragged into the room. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. <clears throat> <laughs> Who is this Falgrit Garden? Who is he really? I use a lord, that's all I know. He's very weird and conniving, but <clears throat> I don't know what are you getting at. He is trifling with this uh magic. Seems to be the only person who understands it. I don't know about I don't that. Like it. Oh, do you know oh. someone else who understands this type of stuff? I know, but I mean, what about runes? Could they be runes? Maybe there's like special runes on their chains or something. 
does not explain the reaction that just happened, I don't. Whenever Fogarth is mentioned, it's always magic and... She always... answers to him. I don't like this magic. I do not like people who dabble in it. I wouldn't know. I'm on the outside of a lot of this stuff. I don't understand it any more than you do. <clears throat> Fair enough. Let us go, and there is nothing we can do. It is worrying, though, if someone can just kind of drag people without it being there. <clears throat> that is what I thought. That is incredibly worrying. I don't like any of this one bit. Yeah. Welcome to the group, I, I suppose. I like that she is wrapped up in it. <laughs> Fair enough. That is how we should speak of it. Mm-hmm. should not mention what we saw. To anyone? Perhaps your father. Good. <clears throat> should uh, check the forge. Yeah, well, I don't like keeping secrets from him, so... Neither do I. I do not like secrets, period. But sometimes they are necessary. Hmm. All just waiting. Waiting? Well, there's what only for? one fucking smith in town. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> I believe he is uh, incapacitated at the moment, probably, I just assume. Mm. <sighs> Smile the just something. To see if he can at least mend something, not fully repair it. Hmm. If that doesn't that work, the big hammer on your back? Yes. It is huge. It is huge, very damaged. Well, ruined. Not fully damaged. Maybe. Mm. What's it made out of? Unfortunate. Iron? Yes. Iron. Very high quality. Dwarven quality. Uh. Dwarven iron. <laughs> We got a large shipment of iron today. I want to see if I can at least get it mended. Mm-hmm. Yes. If not, I'm going to see if I can maybe get Stoss to install a rune on it. <laughs> Speaking of. <clears throat> that might be me. <laughs> might be. First, I'm going to see if armor's available at some point. <sighs> Say, uh, you mentioned another runesmith around town, right? I haven't noticed where it is. Could you show it to me? Of course. He's right mm. here. I found ah, I see. This was your place of, uh, work. Nope. No, I don't work here. <coughs> Strange. <laughs> Anyways. Found it Thank curious. you. Of course. <laughs> uh, excuse you. Fucking rude. Hey, Kyler, could I talk to you? Sure. Somewhere a little bit more private than here. I will leave. Lead the way. I mean, people are going to be walking up and down the alleyway. And I don't want them overhearing us. Sure. Um, <clears throat> lead the way. I'll follow you. Alright, we'll go to my shop.
Hmm. Come on in. <clears throat> All right. So the lock is behind you. Hmm. So I got shipment of stone from Tang, but it's only enough to make this one rune here. And so far, with everyone going to Bedaria, I'm going to need a couple more runes than that. However, I don't have the stone, and I don't have blank runes. Do you know of anyone that can help me get into that runesmith shop in town? <clears throat> you want to steal from them? Borrow without permission, but with every intent on giving it back. I might know some people. You're, um... If you do, and they can get in, if they have anything like this laying around, then have them grab those, as well as, if, the, if they don't have any of those, as much stone as they can. <clears throat> those would be significantly easier to get, though. Of course. <clears throat> if I were to find someone who could do this for you... I mean, that's pretty risky. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, that's the catch. I don't have much. But... How much do you think? I'm not usually one for this job. <sighs> if that person were to get caught, they would probably lose a hand. At best. 50 copper, maybe? 50? Is this person good? He's quite good. Of course, well, I trust if, you for that, so if they don't end up getting it to you, then you don't have to pay them. Simple as that. Well, 50 it is. I can run interference as well. We mm. both see... We'll see. I think uh, I think he'll be okay. Mm -hmm. I have a question, though. <clears throat> if you can get it to me tonight, then that'd be best. But yes, what is the question? So, I don't I don't know much about runes. Can you explain them to me? Like, what do they do? Like, can they they make things sharper? They make things harder to break. <clears throat> is there any way that they could enchant something mm -hmm. to maybe move something? without the wielder's permission? Move something without the wielder's permission? If there is, I don't think I know a bit. There's stuff to make things move easier, but not without you having some sort of input on it. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you. I'll uh, talk to my people. <clears throat> See if I can uh, of course. get some stuff for you. I would appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Very well. I shall see you later. Whether or not this person can get some stuff for you. A pleasure. Alright. Pleasure's mine.
Maple, are you able to DM right now? Uh, what do you need? Kyla's gonna attempt to break into somewhere. If you can't do it now, that's okay. Uh, where are you trying to break into? My uh, headset just died, so if he said something. Where are you trying to break in into? <clears throat> right. Um, affect the DC. Yeah, the runesmith, but not the one in the poor quarters. Okay. Um, are you lock picking or breaking the lock? Lock picking. Okay, and you do have uh, you do have a uh, thing for this. You are considered trained. Okay. Nine plus two is eleven. That will not be sufficient. You almost you you're gonna work on it for a, a short bit. You almost make your make your way all th through all the um, all the bolts, but the last one slips, and unfortunately, you realize that you fucked it up. Okay. The lock is button bro not broken by any means, but you just made some noise, and unfortunately, you were not able to get in. Okay, I can't reattempt it. Uh, you can just give me a moment. I'm finishing something up. Yeah, yeah. I'll take your time. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, waiting for Arn to help fix the sword, I think. Unless we're playing that Arn was in there working on orders when Bronze is DMing. You're good. So your first attempt was unfortunately unsuccessful. Yep, Thanks that's what that was. so low <clears throat> to damage the lock. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Making your second attempt. With a two plus two, you damage your tools. Frustrated, trying to get through. You're trying to race through those first few bolts because you remember recognize them from war, and you slipped up on one, bent one of your lock pickles. Fuck. It is still usable, but should you ever damage it again, your tools become useless, and you would need to get them replaced. He's gonna go again.
All right, he's looking for blank runes. <clears throat> This building is dusty. Whoever works here, whoever owns this building, has been gone for some time. Rolling runes or um, stones to use for runes. So while well, there is technically light in this room, it is technically off, but you can see in the dark, so you will not be penalized for your search. Mm -hmm. With a nine. It takes you some time, and you rifle through a lot of what looks to be just shards of stones of different colors. And what seem to be old, worn-out alchemical solutions. You do, however, find an old box with, with some old, uh, what seem to be, at least your best guess, old stones. Some of them are cracked. Some of them look kind of shit. One of them seems to be intact. There are no markings on it. It's face unmarred, and it looks as though it was being prepared in the shape of a triangle. It is not in amazing quality, though, told, you don't know too much about this, or anything at all, really. But, based on what I assume is the description you were given, this seems to be more or less what you're looking for. There are sections here and there where you assume a little bit more work would need to be done, but it's something. Unfortunately, the rest of what you've come across looks... Well... It certainly doesn't look like anything that would be used for a room. <laughs> so I'd say, you'd say like a medium to low quality type thing? I don't know if that makes a difference for them. Uh, I don't believe it does. Okay, yeah, but cool. Translation, he will need to, he, he'll, he'll, need, he'll still need to work a little bit on it to get yeah. it up, to get it to shape. Sure. Okay. Uh, nothing else. He's going to try and put things back as best as he can, the way they were. But since it's so dusty, he's not too worried. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. Let's roll. Let's hope you get a 20. <clears throat> no, uh, it's a 10. Uh, you kind of move things around. Um, things look kind of nice, but then you see that the dust is scattered. Some of it floats into, into your face. You cough a little bit. <coughs> um, overall, you kind of hope that whoever was here doesn't come back for a while and let and the dust can settle again. Because if they came back in today or tomorrow, they'd know. Okay. Um, is it possible for Kyla to set the door to lock when it closes, or does he need to, like, put the key? key in on the other side and close it and all that shit. Uh, these are medieval locks. It would yeah. need to be closed. It would, it would... I'll give you a roll. See if you can pull it off. Yeah, like maybe I, I can like... I don't know if this is technically something you can do. So. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I was going to give it to you on a high roll, but uh, that was a 14. That's fine. So unfortunately it's not a high enough roll. Sure. I'm just... uh, so I'm going to say... I'm gonna, I'm gonna mechanism is not correct. Mm -hmm. He's going to peek out the door, make sure no one's like <laughs> directly outside or whatever, and then slip out. I, I, I will go check. Thank you. <clears throat> Anything? Close, just clear. Slips out. Then he relocks the door as best he can, just kind of raking the pins to kind of reset them. You hope I've done it correctly. Fair enough. <clears throat> Alright, that's all. Thank you. Won't let them take me alive.
What's the runesmith's name? Sto Stoas? Sto? Solus? Uh. Oh, he just hit the rest Did of you. Did you see Letty go by? Who? Is it one of the scriptorium ravens on the boat, or is it just one of the rock Laura Letty. I don't know who that is. I can, I can never prefer Blue dress, know. well, blue, white pants, all the hair. Oh, her. There's a rapier around. Right, the one with the... No, I haven't seen her. She just passed... Yes, the one with... Ah. <sighs> Who's him? Aye. Took a nice nap. <sighs> what I could get, I guess. Good. Back to work, I guess. <coughs> Aye, I do need Where the fuck is on? All I see is ass in front of me. I don't want to talk about ass. I want to talk about business and getting this fucking repaired so I don't go to the Badaria with nothing. I know how you feel. I'm waiting on my sword to be repaired. And ass. And I'm so fucking... Horny, Kyla. I hate being horny. It's been six months. It's been six months. <laughs> Don't. He doesn't want to be horny anymore. He I just, just want to wank. <laughs> so badly. Uh, uh. Ah. Oh, fuck. Well, uh -huh. now I'm not horny anymore. Right, it kind of like retracts in on itself. That's not yeah, very nice. You, How are you? No, it does. You're busy oh, right now, Runesmith. Get something repaired. Hey. Nope. I thought I saw some shady are people you by your shop. Well, I my shop. Funny bits. Mm -hmm. We should. Well, Got, uh, I can show you where I saw them. Beat one of my friends up. Sure. When I was at the butchery, and I was out in the woods because I you know, not, being in the poor district and all. <clears throat> then I came back from the woods, Ooh. and now I'm wanting. To get this repaired. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Have you seen our national Ow. Ow. Luggy. You should be careful running around corners. Are you okay? Perhaps you should walk wider around the murals. It's, yeah, it's, okay, big guy. Yeah, I don't know if they went in or not, but we should probably check. <clears throat> Takes out a one of the runes you showed him. <clears throat> it's a triangle one. It's a little beaten up, but it will serve its purpose with a little bit of extra work. From what I was told, the inside of that place is fucking abandoned for a while. It's dusty as fuck. They did their best to not leave any traces, but you Thank never you. know. <clears throat> well. Let me, let me grab this son of a bitch. Thank you. Well, that'll work. Mm -hmm. So, you're 50 copper. Of course. Twenty. And then there's the rest. Thank you. <clears throat> Pleasure doing business Thank with you. Thank you. Mm. 
from one underdarkling to another, of course. <laughs> of course. I'll see you around. Well, Falcon be with you. And you. Your message was delivered, by the way. Please, please don't kick. And my headset died. I'll do that again. One second. <clears throat> You're right. <sighs> Have you You're seen my daddy? No, no, I haven't. Oh. That's all. Your message has been delivered, by the way. My message? No, I don't oh. Want Mr. Shilbrook to go fuck himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that go. Oh, I mean, he jumped off. He, I believe three other people told him before me. Yeah. So Isn't it great? He wasn't very ecstatic about it. Yeah. No. If you want to give me a cup every single day, I'll tell him every time he comes through. You know what? That might be a sound investment. Godspeed, Godsman. God. What are you investing in? Tyler, you have no money. Every day I pay this man one copper and he tells Cade to go fuck himself. It's a fucking bargain. <laughs> it's it's, <laughs> it's on my sheet, too. What are you up to, Raylan? Talking to a Gradian council member about potentially building a fishery on the lake, keeping the, um, uh, I don't know, the potential. Oh, what the fuck was that? Boy, Francis, let me come out. Anyways, uh, keeping the potential of, um, uh, farmers, uh, from completely destroying the area. I don't have my spear with me, fuck. That noise. Boy, Francis, come down from there. That's right, isn't Anyways, it, chat? Yes. So, uh, I may become a fisherwoman. Oh, uh, on a fish hatchery. Is that? For a Gradian, uh, Gradian council member. Uh, you from Gradia? Is that the what? Well, the idea of you I killing fish. I am from fish. the coast of Gradia. That's kind but of Gradia. The idea of me killing fish? Yeah, um, yeah. Tritons eat fish, which is <gasps> our main source of food. Why are you... I don't know. I just kind of thought you guys would be like friends with them. Fr we are not fish. Yeah, but they are. are not, fish are like... Fish are like... friends, not food, Raylan. Fish are stupid. <laughs> yeah, they are. The little ones, obviously, the, <laughs> the little ones that, the, the, like, I don't know, trout and whatnot, they, they have tiny br brains. They don't, you cannot be friends with them. You cannot communicate with them. How right. How do you communicate with a fish? We eat them very commonly. How do you think I have these teeth? What do you Wait, think I eat plants? Oh, I am not a fish. Yeah. Oh. I thought my teeth were sharp. Ah. No. Oh. We eat raw fish. Yeah. But you get a you get a fish fishery a fishery. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I might I potentially get the fish fish hatchery or fishery whatever. Uh, um, I don't know. It would be interesting, but it would. Uh, Solve the issue with the lake being destroyed as well as the, the food shortage. So potentially, 
it would fix things. Mm. They want to build a whole farm over there because they want to fix the food. But if we keep the lake and just have fish, then it's, it, it would be okay. Be a variety of food, yeah, that would be pretty good. Have a lot of farmland exactly, as it is, yes. and then more fish. Yes, and there is no real fisher around here, to be honest. But not that I have noticed. They don't have anyone fishing at the lake or anything. You're the best person for the job. It is a market that is untapped. Makes sense to me. <laughs> what are you up to is now? It? The merchant or council member seems interested. Uh, I don't know. I have nothing that I'm doing right now. I'm just uh, as you would do. Uh, Vibing. I this is what being. you're doing. Yes. Oh, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> um, yes. I have no plans, and yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, we need to ask for. Yeah. Sarah. 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 Uh, why is she avoiding us? Might... What happened earlier? Sir, <laughs> uh... why are you running away? He's gonna grab her cloak. Hey, Sarah! Sarah. Oh, damn it, she's running fast. Hey! You okay? <laughs> you Leave fucking... me alone, please. Shit, alright. Uh, What's going on with her? I fucking, I don't know. She's snappy and shit. Acting fucking weird today. I don't know. What do you mean by snappy? I just... We tried to talk to her from, like, up there, and she fucking ignored us all the way to here until I grabbed her fucking cloak, and then she turned around and said, basically, fuck off. She was fucking weird earlier. She was, like, following her fucking oh chains around. We're in like the middle of a conversation and she just suddenly went whoop and started running up to the scribery. I... That's bad. Yeah. I will talk to you about that later. Sure. I have to... I have to hide someone. Someone? Hmm. Helping someone escape a bad situation. Right. Always noble. Something is wrong with her. Yeah, no shit. What'd she say? She was shaking, and she told me to leave right away. She was very, very upset and angry. Fuck. Hope she's alright. I don't know, there's always a lot going on with her. No. Did Fogrit do something to her? Possibly. I've never seen anyone get under a skin like that, though. I, I don't fucking know. <clears throat> I don't know why she snapped at me. I am worried. It's strange. I will not hold it against her, but... I hope she is alright. I am worried. It's not like her. She's, uh, self-sufficient. I'm sure she'll be okay. I hope so. Not everyone can be completely self-sufficient. We all need people. Mm, she fucking tries.
So... Well, do you believe that your male counterparts are doing what they're accused of doing? I fear so. Hmm. The Rose, at least, I don't speak to Kidas. The Rose believes the person is in question is evil incarnate. Gee, I, I wonder who put that idea into his head. <sighs> so he was lying when he was talking to us in that scribe room. Well, I do not believe that he told him specifically to go out and kill the person, but he definitely has filled all of our minds with such tales. I mean, I even attacked the dryad after... I even attacked her after uh, she gave me the anti-poison. Because I feared uh, it was some kind of dark magic. But... I know that she is trying to do good. Never seen of her course. do wrong. It is troublesome. Because... I do not know who to believe. I believe she is trying to do right, just as much as Mirandol is trying to do right. I'm just tired of seeing innocent people hurt, Raylan. That's all, you know. That is understandable. I do not want to see anyone hurt either. Yeah. That is why I intend to do what I must. That's vague and ominous. I'm sure this. We are going to destroy something. Hmm. And I'm going to ensure that it is actually destroyed. Good. That's the only fucking reason I'm going to. I'm <sighs> All these people talking about like alliances and wanting to backstab someone and, and, and jump them and kill them. And I'm just like, I, I just want to like do my fucking job. It's something bigger than grudges we hold against people. Bigger than the trust we have between the people in the group and stuff. And people can't seem to see past yes. that, and they clash over it. As I have noticed. It's you, pity. however, are surprisingly... ...middle ground. Oh, I don't so. meet many from where you come from who are middle ground. They're usually on one side or the other. I thought I was alone in this kind of middle groundness. It's not middle ground, it's just bigger picture. I don't care for the posturing. I don't care from the, I would kill you, I'll stab you in the back. If you stab him in the back, I'll shoot you with a crossbow. If you shoot him with a crossbow, I'll cut you. It's like, I don't get it. I don't understand it. They are all pointing weapons at each other. Yeah, we should be pointing our weapons east. Pointing a weapon at each other. Indeed. That being said, alliances that some people can't be trustworthy. But... What can you do? That, yes. So this... I can see the bigger picture and make sure that what needs to be done is done. Exactly. I'm glad I'm talking to someone else who actually understands that. While I care about Arn and I yes. fully support his cause, I really want to bring honor to his name and everything like that, but... You know, that's the big thing. That's the big picture. Protecting, you know, what we have is the big picture, not squabbling and fighting and plotting and scheming and... Yeah. That's not big picture. The cloaks and daggers. Yeah. I would have pegged you for one of the set of people. It can be useful, yes, but... Not like this. There is admirableness to truth. Mm-hmm. Wearing your heart on your sleeve is something that is... Hard, but it is right. Especially when you're being pulled in two directions. Yes. Especially. <sighs> well, we will get through this. Hmm. We just do our job. Make sure. Tomorrow, no? 
yeah, we do our job, <laughs> do the mission, and try not to make people kill each other over it, I suppose. So we're not to die ourselves, and make sure no one else dies while we're at it. Ideally. Ideally. Just know I will do whatever it takes to make sure it is destroyed. Good. I will continue to do so. I hope so. Like Sarah's coming back. <laughs> and the trees. You do have good eyesight. It's evening now. Oh, you did a thing, by the way, when we were fighting, I think it was a hobgoblin or something, hmm. and fucking yes. burnt my eyes. I don't know what the fuck that was, but it hurt like a motherfucker. Close your eyes when I tell you to close your eyes next time. I thought I did, but I just, I was looking directly at you, and then it just went, <laughs> and then... <laughs> I'll try to give bigger warning next time, too. <laughs> yeah, give a countdown so everyone can close their eyes, even the enemies. I know why you I did it, I just... I will give a countdown, yes. Oh god, it hurt I know, so I fucking know. much. I will give a countdown. As long as you close your eyes, you will be fine. Yeah. Usually. Close them tight. If you're close. <laughs> <sighs> well, that was... She's still muttering to herself. Yes. Should we... Go where she was, maybe. Perhaps. Would one of us follow her and one of us go where she was? I feel like she's gonna head back to the scribery. Or should we stick together? We should stick That's together. It. Let's just see if she's done anything. Yeah, let's set something on fire or whatever. Yeah. You really <clears throat> think she would set something on fire? She is quite chaotic when she wants to be. Fair enough, that is... scary, but... okay. She didn't say where she was going, did she? I heard cemetery. Cemetery? Is there a cemetery here? Ah, uh, yes, actually. Further over here. Hmm. Not too many people come this way, to be honest. Yeah, I can tell. Look how ruined this you fucking bridge is. If you want to be is. quiet and actually undisturbed, this is actually an area you might want to go. Last time I went into this swamp, I had my ankle There's slit. A little... Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it wasn't There's fun. There's a little um, dock over here and uh, a cemetery. Oh, I've never been in this nice. part of the, uh, city. Hmm. It is off to the side, that is for sure. Let us see, the cemetery! Yes, it was off. There it is. There's the lake. Ooh. The little one. The little dock. A very quaint. And up here is the cemetery. Oh. Hmm. Nothing really to see that I can tell.
Is there? I don't know. This is a very old stone. I don't know if anyone is actually still in over here to agree. Hmm. It's weird. Hmm. I wonder if I can read this tombstone. For sure. Uh, Bruns, can I grab you for a DM real quick? We're at the cemetery. He's busy. Give it a sec. Roger that. We'll wait. Hello, you too. Uh, hello. I was not expecting you to see you here. Uh, is everything all right? Without your guards, Mirindel. Huh, there they are. Uh, we saw her running back into town, uh, whispering, muttering things. Mm, I see. Is she all right? No. No? None of us truly are, are we? What is wrong with her? It's not my place to say, but I do have information about the upcoming mission. Oh? Supplies have been procured. Basic weaponry, shields. Might be able to get our hands on some light armors. And pay once the job is done. Apparently, Falkus will. Uh, what's the word? Evaluate how it went and pay us based on that. Fair enough, I suppose. Mm. We'll make sure it is done then. Very good. Hm. Well, I look forward to the mission tomorrow. And fighting alongside you. Will it be interesting, though? I'll be excited to finally see your spear work. <laughs> yes. Maybe I'll be able to learn a thing or two. That is right. Hmm. You did mention you fight with a spear, no? Indeed. I look forward to it, then. Do you manage to figure out what was on that tombstone? I'm waiting for my <clears throat> brain to catch up. Of course, yes. Why are you out here, Mirandel? I was looking for Seraphith. Hmm. She mentioned she might be headed this way. What about you two? Why is she out here? What does she have to do? Not sure. She just kind of muttered about it. We heard the same thing, something about the graveyard, so we came looking as well. I see. And is that a friend of yours? We don't even know what it says. We found it here when it we right showed up after Cerevith. It's a fresh place to flower. I'm trying to figure out what it says. So I'm, you know, waiting. Fine. I heard you were sick, Kyla. Yep. Lupus, did you still need a DM? I'm done with the scene I was doing. Uh, yeah, we can jump down. It's just a question I can need answered. I can drop down with you if you okay. want. in my head um we're at the cemetery where we think sarah went we found a tombstone here with a freshly placed flower i'm trying to figure out if i can read the name on the tombstone are you going to be bringing it um i don't know what it is to be honest really okay no clue fuck no one's informed me 
Roger that. You want to see what it is. Um, I flower. could tell you that this doesn't look like something Servant would you ever mean the body do. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to be so I'll just give some time. random name. Or just say I can't read or sign up. Huh. Well, I don't want to give a random name in case there's an actual thing going on. I'm not tracking. Sure, okay. Yeah, I'll just say, just I say I can't it's read fucking it. like got a whole bunch of gunk on it and you don't know what the fuck it is. You don't want to do it. Roger that. Okay. No, no, just. Thank you. Staring off yep, into no space. Problem. Contemplating you saying you want to rob a grave. I'm not. I'm not going to rob a grave. <laughs> I know. <sighs> so anyway, there's like thousands of emeralds buried beneath that. No, I can't read the fucking name. So. But this doesn't seem like a thing Sarah name. would do. Did he sense magic? Who? I doubt it. Him. Yeah. I don't. Okay. I don't think you would. From what I was told, yeah. this doesn't seem like he was. He didn't know. He had no fucking idea. So, we're just saying that I can't read the name. Stop it. Okay. Oh, so no, I can't read the name. Where they went. I see. Okay. Rather strange. Anyways. Let's hope Lucian. I suppose I'll tell both of you as well. Considering you are close with Arn and he is close with the Dryad. I spoke to Awen. You spoke. Well, like you heard him. He brought me through the swamp, navigated me past all of the traps, and we had a conversation right in front of the Dryad's door. Sure you're not sick? I am sick, Kyla. I've been experiencing grief hallucinations constantly, every day, since that day five months ago. I've been taking medicine for it. It's the only way I've been able to keep sane. Right now, I'm on a full dosage. And the hallucinations, as vivid as they are, never speak back to me. But Awen did. What did he say? And I'm a fool. He brought some things to light for me. What do you mean? The Dryad put him there against his will, that much is true, but I always thought that he was miserable, imprisoned. That he was being used to power her magics, whatever dark magics those might be. But he told me he was freer than he was ever before. They're in disinformation. <laughs> it changes everything. This information no. could. Save the Dryad's life. The Duros will not stop. I'll speak to you. You need to. Yes. I fear you might be the only one he will listen to. This whole time I thought he was trapped. Who gave you that idea? Seems I'm the one who's trapped. Hmm. 
So after everything that she did for us back then, your immediate jump was that she suddenly was doing dark magic and whatnot. No, no. I knew what she did. I thought it was a necessary sacrifice that she... that she needed to make to keep everyone alive, but... When I saw the circles that she left, and that she was telling people that it was all her own magics, and I was under the impression that she'd been siphoning the soul of my... my best friend, the baby is. That's what made me believe that she was doing something dark, and I don't know, maybe she still is, but... Ewan's not a prisoner. That was a relief. That's all, but... That was the one thing that was holding me. Uh, my conscience uh, against the Dryad. I... I have seen the good she has done, but it was still worrisome that she was holding Ewan against his will. I am glad to know that your friend is not being held that way. I doubt she has some kind of way to control his spirit. I have no reason to doubt his words. Hmm. I'm not lying what when I... telling us? Of course. I'm not lying when I... Tell all of you I'm trying to keep everyone alive, but there's apology thought so clearly. I've made a lot of mistakes. And did a lot of foolish things and got a lot of people hurt and a lot of people killed. I haven't forgotten that. I'm not pretending like I haven't done it. But I am trying to make things right. I want to fix my mistakes if I can. out of the cost to myself. Just... I want the voices to, to stop. I want them to be able to rest. That's it's all. It's hard trying to do the right thing. Because you never really know what that is. I haven't known. I am not a Ledford survivor, and so I am not one to forgive you for the things you have done. But I can see that you are trying. I don't seek forgiveness, I just... I don't Maybe want the deaths do. to be in vain. <laughs> is that so bad? I... Of course, people cannot forget, but forgiveness, it... It heals. Keep... Trying... To meet others in the middle. And I believe... Eventually, you may earn that forgiveness. <clears throat> Chat, roll a d20. Yeah. 
I think we have you too for long enough. Yes, and your guards seem to be antsy. <laughs> Shall we get going, Kyler? The deaths were in vain when you left us, Mirandel. <laughs> 